So today is going to be trying to make it quick. Not really quick. I don't know. Just depends. Anyway, uh, what's your view on marriage? So marriage is, you know, we got the traditional marriage, right? Husband, wife, go to church, you get married. Excuse my glasses, virtual glasses. You go to church, you get married. You know, the man's the head of the household, blah, 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 blah. blah. You're not supposed to cheat. It's monogamous, monogamy, right? Uh, polygamy, plural. Uh, polygamy is a very broad term because a lot of people can a lot of people confuse polygamy and polyamory to be the same thing, and they're not. Uh, there's a whole lot of things you can do there, but um, I don't know. My views on marriage is, you know, whatever you and your partner choose to do to make each other happy, that's what you guys choose to do. It shouldn't have to be defined by somebody else's definition. Who We don't even fucking know who made the definition. Like, as long as you guys are committed to each other and y'all have that understanding what's the problem now i'm not saying that me and my wife got anything going on what we got going on is our business but what you got going on your business and if your relationship isn't happy or if you're lacking something and you need something from your spouse why is it so hard just to come and have that conversation so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to read this going to make put this quote on the screen from Elizabeth Blake. Give me one second. Screen share. Oh. So it says Elizabeth Elizabeth Blake. Yes. A professor of philosophy at Arizona State University argues that the benefit of marriage should not be restricted to a romantic relationship and should not be limited to the relationship between pairs. Two platonic friends or three lovers together should be able to marry. And there goes her information right there. She has a book. You can go find the name. You can do all that shit. This shit is on Google. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to want to fix that. Because why? there's a plenty of people out here who, who you know, do their own thing. There's plenty of people out here who live the life that way they live their life. But the thing is, though, for those people who are worried about somebody else, stop. Don't. You never get nowhere worried about nobody else because regardless, they're gonna worry, they're gonna do, they're gonna say whatever they're gonna say, regardless of what you do. They're gonna feel however they feel, regardless of what you do, regardless of what you wear, regardless of what you say. Who cares? Nobody can stop your happiness. Be happy for you. Like my mom, I made this. So I don't know, it's kind of something I just hold. Anyway, be happy for you. I was happy when I made this. Still got some work to be done to. I want to add some more shit to it, but you know. It's a very good conductor of my energy. So when I'm down here conducting magic, helps me out with this shit. But anyway, be happy for you, okay? Be happy in your relationship for you. Seek someone who truly brings out the inner child in you. Whoever you are in the mirror, whoever you are when you are alone, those thoughts that you have, if you can't say these things and express these feelings and emotions when you're around this particular person, I mean, when you're alone and you can't do these around it, this, your special person, this particular person, why are we even there? Why are you even there? What, what, what's the point of being in a relationship with somebody when you can't be your authentic self? It'll be consistently always trying to change who you are for somebody else. And that's just not how being in a relationship to be, in my opinion, in my opinion. Um, if you are having problems in this area, uh, you can consult a counselor. Uh, that probably would be the most best bet. Uh, there's life coaches out there. Um, yeah, we feel we can expand upon this topic more at a later date. But like I said, I'm finna get ready to go in here and watch. I didn't say it. I'm finna get ready to go in here and watch a movie with my kids as I get done uploading this. But just know that you don't have to be traditional. You don't have to be like somebody else. Whatever this cliche is, whatever, um, just be you. You, ha happiness is the end goal. Like I tell people, this is the analogy I use all the time. If the end goal is happiness, let's just say happiness is the corner store. Or let's just say happiness is the big convenience store that starts with a W that I don't wanna say because I'm not getting sponsored by it. But just let's say we're going to the store, pick up some things. And um, it's a couple of us all going to the store. We're all going to the same store. We have a conversation about the store, but when we go to leave, Two people going in one car and other people going in another car, right? 
some people may find it stupid that we are going to the same store. Why should we take separate cars? It doesn't matter as long as we get to the store and back, right? As long as we get to the store and back. So whatever we got, got going on in my car, it shouldn't matter what you got going on in your car. It's not that I feel a certain kind of way. Obviously, I'm doing something else in my car that I'm not doing in your car. You know, whatever, whatever that reason may be, that's okay. We have to be okay with that. We have to accept that people don't do the things how we do. People don't think how we do. People don't, aren't as considerate as we are. If there's always an equal and there's an opposite reaction, there's always two sides to something. You know, this whole thing is one side, but there's this side and there's this side. Then there's a smooth side and there. It's constantly, everything has polarity. That's what it's called, polarity. So on that note, I'm going to get y'all back y'all night, man. Uh, don't forget to check me out on www.thedistortedcosmos.com. Www uh, I usually post my podcast there, my article, and my article for Shout Out Dallas is there. Uh, my YouTube videos are there. The items that we have for sale, hats. I'm, fin I'm finna to have to make some because it's summertime right now. Ain't nobody finna wear no goddamn hats. I mean, unless you little baby or something. You can walk around in beanies and jacket. That's cool. I understand it. But so finna up, I'm gonna probably do something for myself and I'm gonna probably have my daughter to make another shirt for the summertime. I gotta try to be uh particular about her clothes because sometimes she be wanna make them look, you know, look look cute, but I got I gotta tell her that age appropriate, you know, we got to be age appropriate with these kids and, you know, I still want you to, you know, be cute or whatever, but be cute within reason. So that's what I'm working on. Stick to, stay tuned, stick with me, all white party, April 23rd, got a section, go pull up, take some shots with your boy, my kinfolk LD, AKA Stoner LD on Instagram, go check him out. He's one of the highest club promoters in the city. Man, he turns the city up, like he turns shit up, especially in club. So be a little lookout for that. We're gonna bring him on the podcast. We're gonna talk some more about that. And on that note, I love you. Stack your bread. Be happy. Be happy for you. Make yourself smile. Love you.